Two weeks ago, I told you about the secret of my unsuccess, and last week's episode was all about the secrets to your success. Well, today I want to put some meat on the bone and to give you some evidence because we're talking about the stories of their success. <laughs> Hello, welcome to episode 93 of the show. My name is Darren Krakowiak. I'm the founder of CRE Success and also the leader of CRE Success Membership, where we help commercial real estate professionals go from being overworked, underpaid, and feeling unappreciated to saving time, earning more, and being valued for what they do. Go to CREsuccess.co forward slash membership for more information. That's CREsuccess.co forward slash membership and on that page you'll see more information about how you can become a member of our community and what I want to do today is to talk to you about some of the stories of their success because I did share with you that some of the measures of success in terms of an outcome that you can achieve saving time earning more being valued for what you do is a representation of satisfaction in our industry, of success in our industry. But today I want to talk to you about, well, how do you achieve that? And what are the things that you need at your disposal in order to get there? And I think there are three things. There's coaching, there's community, and there is content. So let me tell you, first of all, what I think those three things mean. And then I want to tell you some stories about how those three elements, which are inside our membership, are helping some of our members be more successful in the ways that I've talked about the outcome of saving time, earning more and being valued for what you do. So coaching is really about having somebody that you can turn to, a mentor, a guide, someone who's there to ask you relevant questions and also share their knowledge to help you make important realizations that enable you to go from A to B faster than you would be able to on your own because they've got the knowledge and experience that they're willing to share with you and they've got your best interests at heart. Community, I think, is about surrounding yourself with people who are on a similar journey, like-minded people, people who want to learn and grow and unlock their potential just like you do as well. And that can help you not feel alone and to feel supported and to realize that what you're doing is very much possible. And as you make those realizations together and move forward together, you are more likely to get there more quickly. And then there's content, and this is around best practices. It's about tried and true principles and efficient and effective processes. Some of these might be pre-recorded. Some of them might be delivered live, but they're all there for you available on a regular basis. So you've got the tools that you need to move forward. All of these elements are inside CRE Success Membership. And what I want to do now is tell you some stories and introduce some people who are members of our community and talk to you about how they have leveraged those three elements to get to where they want to go. And the first person who I want to introduce you to is Ben Curran, who is an associate director in the industrial team in Colliers International in Australia. And he came to our membership with a very specific goal. He wanted to become a $1 million GCI agent. And that's something that he's been able to achieve and exceed this year. And he says that drawing on my years of experience in the industry and giving him advice on areas that he needed assistance with during some of our one-on-one -on -one time has been immensely helpful for him. He enjoys the podcast, but also the training programs which are available to members on demand as training tools. And he notes that other real estate trainers have been helpful with some aspects, but because they're geared towards the residential market, he recommends CRE success to any industry professional who's looking to augment their success in the commercial real estate se sector and reach their income goals. The next person I want you to meet is Singam Ratnam. Now, Singam is a corporate real estate manager for APEC within Equinix in Singapore. And he was delighted to have joined CRE Success. Uh, like Ben, he was one of our original founding members back in 2020, and he was looking for a platform to enhance his knowledge of the latest real estate uh, trends, and he wanted to freely share his thoughts and opinions. And what he enjoys is the fact that everyone is treated as a valued member inside the membership. So not only do we help you feel more valued for what you do 
in your day to day, but that's something that you'll experience as a valued member of the membership. And he says he's grateful to me for initiating the group and he appreciates the dedication uh, that I've offered to the members. And in particular, he notes the one-on-one session. So this is where we're talking about the coaching is an exemplary activity that has significantly impacted his ability to perform his duties as a senior director. And the third person who I want to talk about to you in relation to coaching is Lisa Coyle. And Lisa is our member from Barbados, and she is a commercial leasing and sales agent at Terra Caribbean. And she talks about how being inside the membership has really opened her mind and it's really kept her focused on her goals. She says that everyone is so encouraging and in regards to coaching, she says that after we talk, she feels like she can fix the world. And I think that's what's having someone in your corner can do, give you that confidence that is going to help you realize what you're truly capable of, that little pep in your step that you can get from being not only coached, but also surrounded by other people who are going on that journey. So let's talk now about community. And there's three people who I want to talk about in relation to the community benefits that come from being inside the membership. The first one is Jonathan Flexer, and Jonathan's the head of tenant representation at CBRE in Vietnam. And he says, yes, there's the content itself, which is attractive, but it's also the ability to connect with other agents. He talks about there's a really good opportunity inside the membership to discuss his own issues and challenges and things that he wants a second opinion on, not only from me, but also from other members. And he likes getting access to that higher level, longer term experience within the industry to support him, not only with work stuff, but with non-work stuff. And he also appreciates the fact that uh, I'm there to hold his feet to the fire about things that he's committed to do and to make sure that he's actually followed through. And Jonathan told me a great story about how another one of our members who works for JLL has been really supporting him. And he says that that is someone who he met through the membership. And obviously uh, the fact that that person works for a competitor probably wouldn't have been supportive if it wasn't for the membership. The next person who I want to introduce you to in relation to talking about the community is Kamlesh Malkani. And Kamlesh is a very senior guy within Steelcase in Hong Kong. He's based in Hong Kong, but he actually is responsible for uh, five or six countries across Southeast Asia and also uh, Korea and um, yeah, so Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia. And, and, and simply Kamlesh says that by asking and sharing questions inside the community, he's been better positioned for opportunities that he's working on. And he's someone who really is inside the community to make a contribution, to help other people grow, but to also understand what makes people tick so he can support people inside the commercial real estate industry outside the membership as well. And his uh, position in terms of what he wants the membership to do is to continue growing so he can continue supporting people and helping people inside the membership. And using his experience and insights to help other people grow. The third person in relation to community that I wanted to mention is Michael Smith. And Michael is a buyer's agent at MSC Consultants in Australia. And he joined us about mid 2021. And he said he did a lot of research about who could support him as a commercial property consultant. And he was looking for ways that he could transform his business and the way that he communicates and deals with clients. So he took out a membership and he says he did not look back. He enjoys the monthly member sessions. He enjoys these podcasts, but also talking about the community, it's other members. And he's discovered enormous benefits from listening to what I prescribe and to leveraging again, my experience. And he appreciates the fact that I give him a very clear message, which is sometimes a little bit unclear to find inside commercial real estate. So he recommends the membership to anyone who's looking to make an investment in themselves. So let's talk about content now, because I said that that was the third thing. We've talked about coaching. We've talked about community. Let's talk about content. And Sam Torrance is an associate director in office leasing at JLL in Australia. And he was previously relying on residential real estate coaches 
but he notes that selling a house has nothing to do with leasing office space. So when CRE success came up, he realized it was specific to what he was looking for and it was what he needed. And he says he's been stoked that he joined the program. He's enjoying all the information that's been provided to him. That's the content. And he enjoys being able to log in and watch the trainings again and again. He says he's watched some of them three or four times. And each time it's resonating more and more for him. Being in the program, he says, is about improving himself as an agent. It's an invaluable resource and it's absolutely worth every penny. Then there's Andrew Kim working as a tenant representative a tenant representative at Franklin Shanks in Australia, and he was having issues with getting meetings. And he came to me and said, what can he do to just shift the way that he's communicating with his outbound prospecting? And we spoke about that and I provided him with some content, some resources that were inside the membership. And then things started to change for him. And he uh, says instantly he was getting more meetings than he was before as a result of that content that he consumed inside the membership. So he tells people, do not hesitate to join. And the last person who I want to talk about in relation to content is someone who really knows our content, and that is Jufiandi Junizia, who is the corporate account leads for JLL in Indonesia. And he originally joined us on a training program before the membership was launched. And he's been a member from the beginning, as some of the people who I've talked to you about today have also been. And he says it's the best program that he's joined in commercial real estate with soft skill knowledge that has really helped him to lead and also to grow. Now, if you want to meet more of our members, you can listen to season two, episode 11 of the podcast, which was released in mid-June 2021. Some of the people I've talked about today are featured in that episode, and there are other people who aren't in today's episode who are featured there. You can also check out my LinkedIn profile. There is a link to my LinkedIn profile in the show notes. If you just Google Darren CRE success, you'll find it. But go there, look at the recommendations. A lot of our members are talking about how the content, how the community, how the coaching has helped them get to where they want to be. And while you're there, by the way, make sure you do connect with me on LinkedIn. If we're not already connected, I would love to make that connection and to join your network and for you to be part of my network on LinkedIn. If you do want to know more about the membership, of course, do go to CREsuccess.co forward slash membership to find out more. That link is also in the show notes. That's our episode for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I will speak to you soon.